Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. A lot of people ask, can they handle their divorce themselves? Well, I think they, they uh, you know, think that they should do this because it'll save them money. Well, I guess at the beginning it'll save you money in that it won't cost you that $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 retainer that uh, a law firm is going to ask you to do a project like, like a divorce. Um, but in the long run, you have to understand something. You're not going to be any better at doing that lawyer's job than he would be at doing your job. So, if, for example, you drive a truck for a living. You think that lawyer could uh, drive that truck? Probably not. It'll be a disaster. You're in the IT business. You're an engineer. Could the lawyer do that engineering? No, he could not. You're not going to be able to do the lawyer's job either. And if you think you can, you need to realize that lawyers go to school for years, they have to pass state boards in order to be able to do this, they have to train and they have experience in order to do this, this is what they do for a living. So just because the law says that in some cases one can self-represent, it doesn't mean you should. It'll probably cost you more money at the end because if it's a clean slate, the lawyer can start it and put it on the right path and, and have it go. It'll cost what it costs. If you mess it up and the lawyer has to move to set aside orders um, correct mistakes, clean up a mess that someone else has made, it's going to have A, the cost of cleaning up the mess, and now once the mess is clean, then you got to start it again. So it could very well cost you more in the long run to do it. Um, you could say, well, that's only if I make a mess. What if I do it perfectly? Well, I suppose, what if you do it perfectly? It's a possibility. Uh, driving down I-75 with blindfold on is also a possibility that you'll get to where you want to go. More likely than not, though, there's going to be carnage. The same with this you might be able to stumble your way through doing this properly, but probably not. And it's like any major thing in life. There are certain things you want to save money on, certain things you don't want to save money on. If you want to save money on certain things, you want to buy a cheaper sofa than the more expensive one, that's up to you. But when it comes to your property, to your children, to a fundamental thing like a divorce and how that's going to affect your future, it's probably something you should try and get some real quality professional assistance on because the likelihood that you'll get a much better result dramatically enhanced if you've got someone who knows what they're doing handling the matter for you. If you have any questions about that, reach out. Of course, we'll be glad to help you out.